Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Today, guess who's learning how to braid? You're doing it, and I believe in you. I know braiding can be a little bit stressful, but it's not gonna be like that today, I promise you, okay? Also, today's video is sponsored by Netflix. Your boy does Netflix deals, it's like. <laughs> they have a new show called Cursed that is only streaming on Netflix. I will tell you guys about that later on. I'm gonna teach you how to do the regular three-strand braid. Then we're gonna move on to something that's a little bit more difficult, which which is the French braid. Um, honestly, it's not hard. I feel so confident that you're gonna be like, Brad, this was so easy, like after this video. Once you learn the fundamentals and basics of braiding, we're gonna be creating a look inspired by the courageous lead character of Cursed, Nimue. And a little background about Nimue before we start, she is a young woman with a mysterious gift who is destined to become the powerful Lady of the Lake. And now let's get into the basics of braiding. Let's do it. Hi guys, we have Miss Betty Quinn here to help me. It doesn't feel right when she's not here. I love you. You will forever be my lover. Okay, so we are doing the basic three strand braid. So to do this on yourself for the first time or like just learning how to do this, maybe you do purchase a mannequin. Honestly, you can get really cheap ones that are synthetic hair. Um, I will link below for you. But also I would just separate your hair into two sections and braid it forward like that and like that. So two little pigtails on each side and that's how you can practice. That's probably the easiest way to practice something like this. So I sectioned your hair into a little, you know, half up moment just cause it was easier for me to work with this much hair. We're gonna keep this so simple for you. We're gonna keep this so bland and like so good and just so like ugh, no strings attached type of vibes, you know what I mean? We're just gonna separate into three strands. I've seen videos of people being like, let's separate into three strands like this. Like just separate it. Get on with the show, okay? You can do it, I believe in you. Cool, we have three strands now, awesome. And I'll of course be using my BDSM balm because this stuff will give you so much shine and a beautiful amount of flexible hold to keep your style in place. And it gets all these little flyaways down as you braid and it makes your braid look really clean and perfect. I'll be using this just on my fingertips just to get the braid going. That way everything looks beautiful and perfect and shiny. We got our three strands here. Make sure they're all nice and even, do your best. And now take a deep breath with me. Let's do a little meditation real quick. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Beautiful. Now we're ready to braid. Every time you braid, I want you to do that for me. I want you to breathe. I want you to get centered with your thoughts, okay? And have patience. You may not become an amazing braider overnight. That's just the reality of it all. What we're gonna do, obviously we have a center piece, two side pieces, and that is all we have. All you have to know in order to braid is side over center. Repeat it with me, side over center. What we're gonna do is put the side, <laughs> this side, over the center. You see what I just did there? We're gonna do the same thing again on the other side. Side over center. And you see how the center pieces change every time? It's gonna be important that you keep your hand placement showing which ones are the side and which one is the center. Do whatever feels comfortable to you. This is how I hold it. One hand holds two of the strands and the other holds one. And you just put side over center and that is how you braid. You see that braid forming? Okay, cool. The closer you keep your hands to the braid, see how my thumb is on the braid, the tighter the braid will be. Side over center, side over center. Now your braid at first will not be as tight as mine. This is definitely more of a pro version. It is totally okay to have a really saggy braid the first time. Don't get frustrated. Just work on holding the strands tighter and closer to the base of the braid. So side over center, side over center, side over center, side over center. You be a speed braider and you can speed braid. How simple was that? I know you can do this and I know you're doing it right now and I'm so proud of you. Great job, great work, you are amazing. Congratulations, you can braid now. And if by chance you don't know how to braid yet and you're not doing it quite right, rewind, do it again, and just keep practicing until you get it and then move on to the next step, which is the French braid. Again, these are the basics of braiding. I'm not gonna go deep into it. I want to keep this very simple, short, and sweet because the more you explain these things, the more complex they get in your head. And I'm not trying to trip you out with too much information, just enough to get you by on that first attempt at braiding and to learn how to braid for the first 
first time. Great job, you guys. I know all of you guys out there are getting it and I'm so happy. You're gonna always remember my jingle. Side over center. Ah, 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 get. That's how you break and you did it. Congratulations. How have you done that? I'm sure a lot of you guys came. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys came to learn how to do a French braid. I'm gonna take all this out. I'm gonna section her hair into four quadrants and you should do the same to your hair. And if you don't know what four quadrants looks like, I will show you in a second how to do that. You're gonna part down the center of your head. Ooh, is that the center? Ooh, I hate center parting because it's just scary. It's like, is that a center? I don't know. Good enough for me. All right, we did that. We did that. Good job. If there's one thing you can do right today, I know for a fact it's the center part. So, well, actually, maybe not even that. So now you're going to go from the apex of the head, which is the high point. You can lay a comb on the head and see where the comb comes off of the head. So right about here and bring it to behind the ear. Honestly, just make four quadrants on the head. They do not need to be perfect like what I'm doing. Just get it done. Okay, sounds good. All right, good. And we have our four quadrants. Voila. This is what they should look like. Now we will begin on one side of the head of your choice. These are our practice sections and we're going to keep it really simple at first. We're just sectioning off a big piece at the top like this and making sure you have no knots in the hair before you start or else you just want to have a panic attack while you're braiding and get so annoyed and then drop everything and just cry. Make sure it's not naughty. We're going to do the same thing we did before with the three strand braid and following along with that side over center bit we did before. And the only thing guys that we're changing about this is that we're adding a piece of hair on to each side strand. So we'll add a little something into our side over center song, which is pick up side center. Okay. So what we're going to do first is do side over center side over center. That's just two times to start. Okay, there you go. You got that little tiny braid right there. Now you do a pick up, pick up, and then that's added to the side, which then gets added what? Side over center. Okay, so again, that is pick up, add to the side, and then side over center. Pick up, add to the side, and side goes over the center. So pick up, add to the side, side goes over the center, and we continue. And that is the pattern. So pick up, onto the side, side goes over center. Pick up, side, side goes over center. Pick up, side, side, goes over center. And we'll just go all the way down because why not? Pick up side, side over center. That wasn't the prettiest braid I've ever done, but I was trying to explain while I was doing it. So don't come for me. Okay, at this point, your head should look something like this. I find that this way, going horizontally down your head is a lot easier to learn before you then do the French braid going back. It is the same exact technique, but getting your hand placement right before doing that French braid going back is a lot easier than starting off with that kind of complicated, like backwards on your head braid. So I'm going to quickly show you on the other side of the head how to do that exact braid one more time. All right, we're starting off with our three strand braid. We are doing once side over center. That is how you start the braid. And then we are going to do what? We're going to do pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up. Then what do we do? We do side over center. And now we're towards the bottom of the head. So pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up, side, side, over, center. That's how you do it. Yeah, get into it. So these are our two braids we just practiced together and our little song went pick up side over center, pick up side over center, pick up side 
over center. So keep practicing on each side of your head. You can undo your braids, do them again, undo them, do them again. It's just so much easier to practice on a horizontal like we did. And you will continue to get better and better at this. As time goes on, your braids may not look as tight as mine or as good. That is totally fine. Yours can be all saggy and nasty or whatever, but at least you're getting the basics of what we're trying to do. And over time, you'll get better. I promise you, stick with it. You're gonna be the best braider in town, baby. And I know that for a fact. Now let's move on to more difficult braids. Even if you don't do this on your own head, it's just fun to watch. And you'll see how you can adapt these simple braids into so many different variations and interesting looks. So if you're ready to watch me transform Miss Manny Quinn into Miss Nimue, then get ready. <laughs> Let's do that. Whoa, oh my God. Yeah, we colored her hair. She has a new brown color, a new short haircut. We are really trying to resemble Nimue's hair. She has this beautiful dark haired moment on the top, a nice warm brown into these blonde highlights towards her ends and her hair is really long. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna add extensions into this look. We're gonna do it all up. It's going to be very much Nimue's hair and I love replicating character styles, especially with a look that was from so, so long ago. I just find it so cool creating a natural looking style that could have been done without the modern tools we have today. So this is really exciting for me. And even if you might not try this on your own hair, it's just gonna be really fun to watch because we are going to completely transform Miss Manny Quinn in to Miss Nimue. Okay, in order to do this look, we are going to start off with a center part. Now, I'm not gonna bring the center part too far back because that is not how Nimue has it. We're gonna attempt an <laughs> exact replica of her look. Do I think it's maybe not gonna be exact? Yeah. Am I gonna do my absolute best to make it look exact? Yeah. So we are going to just do a center part like that, just about, you know, an inch back. Now that we have that done, we're gonna then make two little triangles at the top of her head. And this is what I mean by triangle. It goes doop, doop, doop. See that? It's a triangle. <laughs> we are going to do the same thing on the other side. And now we have, you know, one big triangle. We're gonna now clip this out of place, just like so. We're gonna move on to the next step of Nimue's iconic hair, we are going to take our comb and section from the corner of that triangle all the way back in a straight line, just like that. And we're gonna comb this out of place. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bing, bang, and boom. And now in the back, we're just gonna section it out across and lift that up. And that is our second section. And that is like the hardest part of the whole thing, in my opinion, is getting the sectioning correct. Um, but once you do that, girl, we are smooth sailing baby. Wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo, so pretty. Let's get that middle part going again. And now is the fun part. We are going to take our hair and separate into three sections because guess what we're doing? We're doing side over center. I'm going to stick my hands into a little bit of BDSM balm. We're just going to get them my fingertips. That way I can get all these little baby hairs out of the way and it will help aid me in doing her braids and making it all look perfect because who doesn't love a perfect looking braid? We're going to do our three sections and we're going to do side over center, side over center, side over center. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different and a little, you know, maybe confusing for some people, but we're just lifting up hair from this side, pick up side, side, over center. This is what happens. We do not pick up any hair on this side. We ignore this side. So we're only picking up on the hairline. Again, pick up side over center center, and then this side just side over center, and again, pick up, side over center, and nothing on this side, remember, side over center, pick up, side over center, side over center. And we're just gonna stop right behind her ear. So as you can see here, I pulled the hair in this direction as I braided, I went down and then went back up. And that's gonna give that kind of crown ethereal feel that Nimue also has. And we are going to just continue this braid all the way back. We're gonna discontinue picking up hair. And now we're just doing a basic three strand braid. All right, and now we have one side down of Nimue's braid. She's looking like a strong, powerful woman already, and we love to see it. We're gonna do the other side now, and we're gonna do the same exact thing, so I'll just speed it up, and I'll show you just a little bit of it.
And that is the other side all completed. Now, what I've done here is just place two elastics at the ends of her hair, and I can just now let go of that section, comb this back down. This is all gonna be left out. And so now we get to tie these two pieces together. But we're gonna do something a little special today because I want my Nimue lookalike to look exactly like the Nimue character. So I did order some suede to wrap around her hair because back in those times that Nimue was alive, they did not have elastic. So I want to stay very true to character, okay? And Nimue has the exact same kind of thing. So from the front, what we're gonna do is not just pull them back. No, 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 no. We have to be extra with this. We're actually just gonna take the braid and twist it around once. This will give the braid more of a 3D effect, like sort of a crown effect, like Nimue has it. You see the difference here? This one's kind of popping out, this one's very flat. So that's how you get that, is just by twisting the braid around. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, and I will bring them together in the back, and I will put my elastic in. This is looking so good, yay! I'm just going to double knot this, and I'm gonna do a few little ties around, just because I feel like that's what Nimue has in her hair. I was like, analyzing as I was watching this show what she has done to her hair. I mean, her hair is so thick and beautiful. Um, goals, honestly. And the thing I really loved about the show was, I mean, I'm such a snob about like special effects and visual effects and whatever. I love good visual effects, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys do. And this show really has it. They did not spare a dime on visual effects and the story just comes across so beautifully because of how much work they put into their characters and into the set. I mean, it, it's really good, really dramatic, really beautiful landscapes. And that's what I really enjoy about shows like this. She struggles with some of her identity, but she really is trying to embrace it. And it's just so beautiful to watch and see her character develop. I just think she is such a strong woman. And I just think her character is so cool and bad in that way. Okay, I'm just gonna snip off the ends here. Boom, and now she has this braid. We're gonna take out our elastics. Oh, and that is really the biggest part is doing that braid. If you can get that down, girl, you are set. You are set, set, set. And that is Nimue's braid. Oh, girl, you are looking fierce already, but we're gonna make you look way fiercer, okay? All right, to finish Nimue's look off, we're going to add hair extensions. And I have the perfect Nimue color because she has those kinds of light highlights highlights at the end of her hair. And we're gonna, you know, style it up, do it up. It's gonna be really fun. So let's section this off. I'm gonna speed this up. You guys can just watch and have fun. This stuff can be therapeutic, you know? I love watching people finish off styles, even if I'm not learning anything. <laughs> like, I just love watching it. So I hope you do too. I'm going to just braid up the underneath. That way it doesn't show all of her short hair underneath. And then I will begin putting in the extensions. <music> Giving Miss Nimue inches, honey, inches. And now I'll be using this tool by Babe Waves. It is a very large crimper, and we'll be giving her very soft, crimped waves. I have this on like 400 right now, but we're just gonna do a very light wave, okay? Cause Nimue has a very natural look. Um, You know, it should look like she kind of did it herself or like her hair is just naturally like that. So that is our goal. You know, she probably didn't have one of these back then. <laughs> I don't think so. And we're just gonna kind of do like sporadic waves, just like in random sections, not make anything look too perfect. That looks so good to me. That's exactly how Nimue would have her hair. I'm just saying. Looking so good. And for some natural, beautiful, tousled texture, I'm gonna add in some of my salty sea salt spray for some separation. Oh, 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 this looks so good. Okay, let's keep going. Let's finish off the look. Now 
now she has some locks, girl. Look at that hair. How exciting is that? I love hair. Oh my God, that is some Nimue hair if I've ever seen it. I may be a little too good, but you know. So we're gonna let down that piece at the top and I'm just gonna put a little pin in there so it stays down and I will show you guys in a second the finish. All right, you guys. Oh my God. I kind of um, feel like I slayed this like a little bit too hard almost. This is the finished Nimue hair look. This literally looks like the back of Nimue's head. I'm kind of like geeking out right now. Like you ever just get impressed with yourself when you try to do things? I mean, like look at these locks. Um, she has a couple hundred pounds of extensions in her hair and she looks so fierce. This look is so damn cute. I am fully obsessed with it. I love these crimp waves on her. Oh my God. God, and this long hair and the highlights. And I mean, honestly, Nimue is kind of, kind of doing a thing for me. If she was on hair just for reacts, she would get a 10 out of 10 for that hair. Like, look at her. Ooh, ooh. Yes, honey. Yes, give it to us. And that is the top view. You can see those braids go around like a crown and they meet in the back. And oh my God beauty. You guys let me know how I did. Does this look like the character Nimue or what? I mean, did I nail it or did I not? I mean, I don't even know why I have to ask, but just wondering your opinion. Did I f nail that as much as I think I did? All right. Thank you, my love. You look stunning. Now get off of my set and I will see you in your show streaming on Netflix. All right. That is all for today, guys. And make sure you check out Cursed, streaming now only on Netflix, linked below. And let me know what you guys think about the first episode. Episode. I can't wait to hear about it. I want to be able to talk about this show with somebody, but nobody's seen it yet. But now when I post this video, you guys are all gonna be able to see it and watch it and tweet at me at BrownMetalNYC so we can talk about the show. And I want to hear your opinions. What did you think about the first episode? Did you love it as much as I did? You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at BrownMetalNYC. I also have a Facebook page and a Snapchat show under Brad Mondo, so check them out. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the X Mondo products in today's video, like Salty and BDSM, well, they are linked below for you and you can also shop at xmondohair.com or go to our Instagram at xmondohair. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys live your best extra braided life and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is Club Kid, our dry shampoo. I like to mainly use dry shampoo for absorbing oils in the hair. It really cleans the hair, deodorizes it, and actually softens it. So it's just an amazing product to make your hair feel fresh and brand new again.